But what do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Happy Hump Day! Is everybody ready for some midweek madness? Woo! Yes! What day is it, Mike? Mike, 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 Mike! What day is it? Hump Day! Yeah! Max says, nice shirt. Absolutely, I, I know a guy. All right, I know a guy. The Messiah says it's Thursday. No, it's not. I see what you did there, though. I see what you did there. <laughs> I actually, uh, I actually had someone over on the YouTube side say something like, are you a full-time creator? I, for some reason, it's one of those things that I probably need to advertise a little bit more. I was looking at analytics and stuff today, and that's what our little, our opening, our opening chat's gonna be about today. Gelco. This is their first stream and someone gifted them a tier one sub. That someone was none other than the amazing Sulfur. Thank you, Outlet. Thank you to Sulfur. We also had a, uh, a new follow. The most recent new follow was Charlie, Charlie QC, about an hour ago. Gelco with the follow as well. And then Makiro Lavos with 200 bits, and Lala Minori with 100 bits. Thank you, everyone. Eilert says, I take it you didn't get the space. Look, okay, see what happened was there was a nature reserve and then we had to put the puffs in there. No, we didn't make it. We didn't make it to space. Dave Hammer, throwing down the hammer once again, 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, yeah. So I think I need to do a better job about that sort of self-promotion thing. It used to be when we were a smaller channel, my subscriber to non-subscriber sort of ratio was about 50-50, which I think from what I understand is pretty typical for a newer channel. Now, does anybody want to take a guess at what the percentage of people who are not subscribed, who are watching the videos on Echo Ridge Gaming? Just throw out some numbers. Throw out some numbers. You'd be, you'd be surprised. Welcome back to the Sun King Apollo. Chat, it's something like 25% of the total amount of views on the channel are coming from subscribers. That means 75% of the people watching the videos aren't even subbed. Now do the math behind that considering as of today, we are just over... 20,400 subscribers. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. Doff says, and on YouTube, subbing is free. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just one of those things. And it's, it's weird, right? Because I did, I was obviously in the military for a very long time, and I became sort of an expert at that craft. In the military, I did communications, and so I did a lot of IT stuff, so I became very, very good at IT. This, while it has a lot of adjacencies as far as the technical side of it, 
I'm, I'm able to comprehend a lot of the technical requirements and, and pick up all of, a lot of those things, which makes this job easier. There's still a lot to learn about the field. And one of those is apparently I'm going to have to start yelling in the videos. Remember to pound that like button, click on subscribe and ring that bell to make sure you get some notification. Like, no, that's the reason why I made those little lower thirds that sort of slides in, says, hey, just a reminder, go ahead and subscribe. It'd be great. Thank you. I, I, but apparently people are now just so used to seeing it that I have to make a verbal call to action. I don't want to make the call to action, but people will typically listen to a call to action. So just a warning, just a warning. You may start to hear that a little bit more. I'm getting really good at getting people to comment on the video, um, which is another strategy that YouTubers need to use because more comments increases the user engagement with the video just like liking the video does. Like in the last video, if you go to the last video that posted this morning, it's basically one giant argument on how to pronounce nuclear. <laughs> oh, Opal, do not worry. You did not miss roll call. <laughs> well, see, Lala says I'm more likely to subscribe if somebody reminds me, but I have a lower third that kind of slides in says subscribe I don't know yeah it's hilarious in the video right now in the comments it's getting a lot of comments which is good and important um people are either doing one or two things and it's very typical in my videos everybody how do I put this in the best possible way hmm I think some people don't necessarily always remember. <laughs> Did you see all the commas in that? That there's a thousand ways to do everything in Oxygen Not Included. So everybody likes to share their ideas. And I like reading the ideas. Don't get me wrong. Don't get, don't get it squirreled. All right. I like reading everybody's ideas. Some people are not as necessarily as, uh, we'll say nice, <laughs> but um, anything you can do to sort of increase those comments. And in that video, it's either the things I could do better or it's the conversation about nuclear. So it works. Lala says, I will watch a video and do other things at the same time. So I don't always catch a visual. That is an excellent, that's an excellent point. That is a really good point. Yeah, I'm just going to have to start verbally saying it because now I'm starting to wor worry that there's going to be people that are members of the VOD channel that don't even know that the regular channel exists. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a whole thing, but I'm learning and I'm enjoying it. And that's sort of what's important. Um, we took a break from content creation for about a month and a half last year. I sort of was creating too much and I got myself burnt out. And when I came back, um, I sort of figured out the lockstep of what I needed to do. Since that point, this has been pretty, I've been able to keep, you know, the balance going. I'm enjoying what we're doing. You know, it's, uh, yeah. Ed says, I remember those dark days. The Sun King Apollo says, wait, there are two channels. <laughs> I don't know if the Sun King is, <laughs> is trolling me or not, but this is exactly, this is part of the issue of having two channels, right? Oh, I'm Sun King. Are you watching the VOD channel or are you watching the main channel? So if you're watching this on the VOD, remember the primary channel is Echo Ridge Gaming over on YouTube. Sun King's been watching the VOD. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. It makes me wonder. The Sun King's about to click on that channel and be like, oh my good. There's a lot of content over there. 
That is amazing and awesome. I think I just have to verbalize it more. <laughs> the Sun King says you've earned two subs today. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, I don't know how to say this one, but we're going to go with LTL Menandi with the follow. I appreciate it. Penny the Cate Alt with the follow. Appreciate it and welcome. Les Soul says, yes, yes. Shameless self-promotion is where it is at. For those of you wondering, no, you did not miss the roll call. The roll call is normally the last thing we do in the just chatting. Um, this scene that you're looking at right now. The Mazaya says, maintain the balance, Echo. You have to look at after number one. Without number one, we get no videos. <laughs> I, I am working on it. I am definitely, definitely working on it. I'm still working on my sleep schedule. I tend to stay up a little later than what I should. Um, especially if I, have you know, poured myself a drink that night. So I need to work on that sort of aspect. I would love it to be back into getting, getting up between the 8 and the 9 a.m. hour. Huh. That's the goal. Right now, I'm between like the 9 and 10.30 hour. Mm. But I got a point, I've got plenty of sleep issues, which is kind of, it stalls me on making, getting that good rest. So it's, it, it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough cookie to crack. Tough egg to crack? Why would somebody crack a cookie? Tough cookie. I don't know. Are we ready for a roll call? Are we ready for the roll call? Sean Corey says the ears are fake. They're attached to the glasses. <laughs> oh, I love it. Happy hump day, everybody. We're going to do this. We're going to do it. All right. We don't do things with half attempts up here <gasps> max it's a fortune cookie that's that makes sense i just want to say here that i'm on stream and can't access discord right now i'm going to try to post some things i drew when i get home but I have to see i look forward to seeing them i look forward to seeing them a tough nut to crack there it is <laughs> it's like in today's video for some reason my brain Inserted 365 when we're talking about the degrees in a circle. Yes, I obviously know that it's 360, but my brain went to the days in a calendar year. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so I, re I received plenty of flack for that one. All right. Here we go. Remember... If you want to be included in the roll call and have not spoken in the last 15 minutes, please do so so that I can recognize you. If you don't want to be recognized, just don't say anything. You won't pop on my list. Let's see. We're going to start today with the O's. First up, O No 16 Nenian. Welcome and happy hump day. Okay, Meister 22. Welcome. Old Man Wiki is here. Opal Forever Nevermore. Pee Wee O'Sock. Player Excess. Pumpkin Pie. Queen is here. Chat, the Queen's feeling under the weather, so make sure everybody goes easy on the Queen today. Give them lots of well wishes. Random Bearded Guy. Richard Dangling is here. Rob Roy 865. That's how many fish they have in their aquarium. Sean Corey. Stream elements, the bot and the commands are working. Very nice. Sulfur Star is here. Tangenelica. I may have done that. Tangenel. Nope. Tangen. Tangenen. Ica. We're going to go with it. Let's move on. The Messiah 75. 
Hope everybody's doing well today on this amazing hump day. The Golden Squid is here. The Haunted 318. That's how many times they've played Monopoly. The Sun King Apollo is here. Timo Manassas, Totem Hugger David. That's what she said. Is also here. Happy hump day. Unfocused, Weazar and Zoldan Orlamu. Bricked Ed's best friend. Now I have to go backwards, starting from the top of the O's. Nim is here. Noisette 1601 is here. Nares Kendall. Happy Wednesday. Mixed Biscuits. Ms. Panda. Manda, hello. Midnight Wolf 03. Max is here. Maxine. Maury 90 Mood. Magiburns. Lucas Detex. Les Soul. Uh oh. Lenny from the Block, a.k.a. Les Nickus. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! La La Minori. Chromic Acid. Kazarak. Colonel Sanders. Happy Hump Day. Kenny Dave. Infinity Eddie. Hobby Carthartic. Hebu Habo. Harvester of Soy. Gravity Pegasus. Gelco. Gallant Gabby. Gabby's 30th. <gasps> The two Gabbies, they're here at the same time. Freakly 13, Fakeri Lepke, Ewis 83. It's the number of retro games they own on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Eins Chris, Eilart 22, Eddie St. George's, Double Dork 596, Double Decker Soul Wrecker is here. Doff 87. Oh, we. Oh, here we go. We've got a German name here, and I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna nail it. Here we go. Oh. Dizer name. Dizer name ist Zulang. That's what we're going with. I'm sure I butchered it. Welcome. Dave Hammer 2003. Dex, 3D, leader, and role model of the Council of Meeps. Delamuka, Dip, Crystal Lilac 68, Crypto Raider Gaming, Captain Planet, Bricked Ed, Zoldan's best friend, Bobox 7, Bearbock EVB, ABS Stalker, Alpine Kitty, and last, on this wonderful hump day edition of the Roll Call, Airy Marie. Woo! Now I need to scroll. I want to make sure. I want to make sure we didn't miss. <laughs> Ed said bit caught. Oh my, like a boycott, but for bitch. Bit caught for Sweepy. Ed, I don't know where we'd put a Sweepy. Eins Chris is also from Germany. So they were able to um, specifically know how bad I butchered that. <laughs> Sampai Gemini is here. Love Elisa, a kiss is here. JD Pop 505. If you half zone out during the roll call, he sounds like he's speaking sim simlish, says the Sun King. Oh. Paul Flies, first time chatter. Been loving binging on your various YouTube series. Welcome. I appreciate you making the trip over. Okay, Meister 22. Welcome. Love Elisa a kiss is also a first time chatter. Kenny Dave said there's two Gabbies. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I originally thought one of the Gabbies changed their name. And then we learned that there's actually just two people named Gabby in the entire world. 
Oh. Colonel Sanders, during the roll call, tried to sneak one in there. <laughs> Said, I'm here to spread deep fried cheer. They have resubbed with their Twitch Prime. I appreciate the Basil Spuck. Seven months for Colonel Sanders. The Cluster J is here. Welcome back. I think we've gotten everybody. I think. Jelly is here. Troidif is here. Welcome. Sweepy in the steam room. What would a sweepy do in the steam room? There's nothing to sweep. For the dirt from the polluted water flashing? Okay, that's a fair point. I guess there is stuff to sweep. <laughs> Sweepy in the bedroom for fun. <laughs> oh, it's like one of those vacuum robots. Mark the Trader is here. It says, hello, friend. I drink loose leaf tea with no milk. Like a true Brit, they said. Welcome. Leo Far, hello. Blobby 16, not late enough to not be included in the roll call. Just take Hilarion, first time this. chatter, says good evening. Good evening back. Amy Lynn Marie is here. Welcome. Player XS, I appreciate the lurk. All right, are we... <laughs> DJ Roomba. <laughs> are we ready? To say goodbye to the ears. Are we ready? I'm ready. I know I'm ready. Boop. Never, never ready to say goodbye to the ears. A little bit of, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Right there. Boop. Let's get this going. I'm loving that I'm remembering the, uh, the background music for the uh, the just chatting session. It's got a nice little funky feel. It's very nice. All right, chat. Let's do this. Thumbs up. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Colonel Sanders with the 50 bits. The show love bits saying goodbye to the ears. All right. Uh, we are back in arid. We are now at cycle 888. Gabby said, I want to hug tackle someone. Oh, that's that sounds amazing. A good old hug tackle. <laughs> Lala Minori says, the music adds some nice happy aesthetic. All right, here we go. For those of you who missed yesterday's magical stream, this is our new nature reserve. Notice it is blocked in all down here. Rent, oh, uh, as soon as we fill this in. Oh no, the Dracos got in. Go, Dracos, come out. Go out, Dracos. Ren Ren does not want you to live in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. One more. Okay. You're about to become Draco meat. You're about to become Draco meat. Oh, now they're just... Now they're clowning. Now they're... Okay, <gasps> hurry up. Hurry up. No! This is why we can't have nice things. Because of the Drecos. Because of the Drecos. Why aren't they coming? Are we that behind? This is Miss Panda's current errand. Don't hop over the hole. Go in the hole. All right. Here we go. Well. Now you're stuck. Now you're stuck because we are... Oh, we only have 19 in here. So we can actually get... Oh, come on. Okay. This is okay. 
Did we figure out the volume issue with the alerts? Asked Dave. Um, it's not an issue. It's just a limitation in my current setup. So I still have some... I have to make some design changes to the setup to fix that. I guess Renren is going to have some Drekos in there. Hopefully they're old enough to work. Nope. 29. I was hoping they laid their eggs. 89. This one probably already laid its egg, I think. 65. Hmm. Oh, there's only 18 in here right now. So yeah, we can wrangle two of them. There we go. All right, what else is going on? Oh, I realize I probably need to actually get rid of this door. And it's not a big deal because I realized we don't want these to ever become cramped. So we want the whole, basically the whole asteroid to count. But right now they're not cramped, so we're going to leave it. They're not cramped. We just got to keep an eye on it. The uh, the issue today, or the, the objective, is space. All right? We're going to make it to space. So we need to design a rocket. Now, this rocket's going to be a fairly simple, uh, simple rocket. Its only mission is to go up and do data banks. That's it. We can even put a nice comfy bed in here, race cars. And I believe it's the space panda that's going up. Hopefully we'll have enough room for this. We will see. Where is, do sweepies overheat? Hmm. I would think so. Where's my sweepies? Overheat, yep. They do have an overheat temperature. All right, so that goes there. That's fine there. This should be now be a bedroom. We don't care much about the morale. This is not max difficulty, so it's not a huge deal. But we still want to make it nice. Absolutely. We will be using the wall toilet, except we will not be washing our hands because the wonderful radiation that's coming down right through here is enough to kill all the germs. What else? Uh, we have some power on the rocket. See, we have three space solar panel modules, and I think, yeah, this one, when it's flying around, creates 240 watts. So it's not shabby. It's not shabby. We also are going to need one of these fangled orbital data collection labs. We're also going to need a bucket. Let's see if we're going to be able to make this a... Let's open it that way. If we're going to be able to make this a super duper great hall. Usually we can, so I wouldn't see a big reason why we couldn't. Where are you? The brain's not working a lot today. I don't know what's been going on. I'm probably, uh... Maybe need more rest or something? I don't know. What are we gonna do for oxygen? Oh! I know what we're doing for oxygen! We have infinite gold! So it's time... Did, did we completely forget the oxalite? I think we did. I think we did. Uh, refinement. Oxalite refinery. Yeah, and we're going... We're going hog wild with this. We're going with two. Except we got to separate them by one. That way we can put a wonderful storage bin right here. And then an auto sweeper right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boop. Small delay in the space program. <laughs> oh, la la with the posture check. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Ooh, that reminds me. I need to change my my stuff. Space panda. 
Appreciate the drink. Dead and deaf. I missed your drink redemption a little while ago, but I'll take two sips. Cheers to all of you. Cheers! Alright, so this is going well. <laughs> Space launch in T-minus soon. <laughs> Alright, um... I ordered the lens, by the way, for those of you here yesterday. I am so excited, chat. I am so flipping excited. This is going to go right in here. That should work. Actually, I want to... Mm, I want. I don't want to do it like... I want to do it something like this. Because if this line is backed up, the oxalite would never be able to make it on. So we want to make sure it's separated so it's a 50-50 split from whatever's being loaded in here to whatever's coming out of there. And this is still in range. Perfection. Oh! Chat! Uh, okay, petroleum is starting to flow again. Okay. I was like, we can't go to space yet because we we're running out of petroleum. <gasps> Oh! Oh! Mmm! How do you make oxygen in planetoids which do not have water sources? Ask Boldishash. Um, does it have rust? You can also ship over oxalite. This is more... I don't understand. It means it's heating up... Oh, no. Oh, why is this... And it's just going to keep going because this is going to be hot. 24 kilos. Oh, we got to get in there. Hmm. We'll come back later. It's fine. We're not getting up. This is... It's going to be fine. Why aren't you pumping? I guess it's low enough. Oy vey. Oh. We could go to 10 kilos. The problem is going to be these two oil blobs. You see how it's kind of stopping it? You're not pumping the oil from the left? No, we, we've finished all the, that oil. Speaking of which, where is the little... The little guy? We need one over here. Uh, a bottle on here. I'm trying to figure out what happened. It had to be... Oh, the oil on the right doesn't have a meter, so it's just all going flat out. Which is fine. Hmm. It's fine. I am a little worried that this is going to create infinite... somewhere. Because I don't see it dripping over. Uh, uh. There we go. That's not working the way it's supposed to because it's also going to be using a lot more power because all of this is now connected no it's not too much to mop we just can't get in there yet uh, because this still has an atmosphere we did lower it to 401 it's because there was too many small blubs Blobs? Blubs? You know what I'm talking about. That ended up um, going through here and heating too quickly instead of it being a 10 kilo. Let's turn oil onto this. But this is okay. This is going to be okay. We're down to milligrams over here. Eventually, this is all going to get vacuumed out and then we'll be able to get back in there. 
And it's not breaking anything quite yet. It is flowing. I am happy about it. So, yeah, we're fine. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine, chat. It's gonna be fine. Yay! It's gonna be fine. No, you stupid alert! Let me go figure that one out real quick. Dave Hammer with some gifted subs. I appreciate it. That was like a repeat alert, apparently. Ghost sub alert? Yeah, that is a weird one. A squared says, wait a minute. This title seems familiar. Random bearded guy bought the mug. So I was going to my activity list to see if it's popping in there. I don't know why the text is not showing. Give me one second. Give me one second, chat, because you know it's going to bother me. Oh, data reports, activity feed. Random bearded guy with the purchase. We're going to fix this right now. It's almost like the name did not come through. Is what's happening. Yay! Paul. Yeah, I'm just getting a bunch of imaginary alerts right now. Stream elements, please fix the stuffs. Please. No, wrong button. Yeah, this is supposed to be working. But it's not. I suppose we're going to do this for now. And just to see what it looks like. Thank you, random bearded guy, for the uh, for the merch purchase. Let's Yay! see if it works. You can kind of see it up there. Hmm. Sorry, chat. Part of my job, right? As the full-time... The full-time... Sort of content creator gig is saying thank you when people are generous. And when it doesn't work the way it's supposed to... It's rather upsetting. Alright, I'm gonna turn the merch alerts off. And we will deal with that... Later. But thank you again, Random Beard Guy. I appreciate it. Yay! Dave Hammer with the gifted sub. Is the pe uh, Pee Wee Osox says, is the petrol pump back on? Is the bottom tank going to overflow when the waterfall of petroleum finally comes down? No, um, this is, the pump is on. It's just connected to this hydro sensor. A squared said, this is how you make it a full-time job. All the time spent fixing crap. You're absolutely right. <laughs> oh. Gilmore, with the three months they've been here. I think a few streams ago, missed, messed your schedule. So I think you created one you already had. I had one, but it was kind of coming in choppy and weird. But now that I have a recent merch purchase, I'll be able to design it a little bit better and easier. So we're going to see. Ooh, pod. We're still on our look for new uh, dupes, but we don't know. Hmm. No, we're just going to reject everything. I'm fine here. All right, so 
We have some but oil going through. The reason why this is important and matters is because the petroleum generators are what's running this colony. Yeah, we have some backup power solutions, but this isn't a lot. So we need to make sure that power is continuously running. But we have this much oil left, which, believe it or not, that's not a lot. So we're going to need to set some stuff up here. This is polluted oxygen, but we need to wait for that one to be vacuumed out. So let's go with, say, this one first. Where are we going to get the water? Chat, did we figure out where we're going to get the water for this yet? Are we squirreling a bit? Yes, but because this is important. All right, we have water coming through here in one desalinator. But I'm gonna need a separate pump. So we're probably gonna need its own desalinator up in here. Something like this. And how much power do we have here? Uh, we have one. Why is it? Okay, 240 watts is what's sort of running. Potential is 2905. It's coming over here as well. What else are you being used for? You're going all the... Whoa! This is going up here. And... Why is this in the, running on some of the things in the base? That's not right. It's like running the bottom half of the colony. All right, we need another one. It's time to grab some more. We're going to put one right here. Are we getting squirreled? No. We are our professional gamers, okay? There are no squirrels. Professional. All right, this needs to be done like now, please. A squared says, so speaking of chaos, chat might like to know that Twitch integration mod is basically done, TM. I hope to get it out soonish. For some definition of soon, I have finals and other crap and all sorts of problems that are more imminent. Um, yeah, let me know, A squared, because as soon as you get it finished, I know this community would love to get their, their grubby little hands on it and cause all sorts of chaos. Garolke, first time chatter. That many petroleum generators is water positive with continuously running while steam turbines supply water to the oil wells. How are we doing in here? 50 kilos. We do have the water coming out, though. Right now, we only have four kilos coming out. Actually, we only have two kilos coming out. Because these are not continuously running. We're only using them naturally. In fact, we have three of them not even turning on. Last five cycles, they're running 50% of the time. Yay! Robot Bacon with a Twitch Prime. Thank you for the Bezos. Lala is still in there. That's fine. Oh, did we never do something with this? This is oxygen and polluted oxygen now. What's down there then? There's still natural gas and other yucks. All right, it's just going to have to be what we do until we start venting off into space. What are you doing? One of the petrol generators isn't filling up. Third from the right. Yeah, we have three of them off. Uh, where's the automation? Boop. We have them on a separate automation thing. All right, let's go down here and start working in this nonsense too. Uh, this one can go away. Ooh. Chat, this is liquid locked in. There's nothing to say. That we can't just let this thing go everywhere. 
We'd have to move these. Hmm. That would be kind of fun. Instead of doing the proper system, just let them spill out. Right? Bring the water in. And vent the natural gas. The only thing we'd have to do is get rid of all this extra stuff. Let's do it. Um, okay, first I'm going to need another power line. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go with one over here. <laughs> Squirrel! How hot's this getting? 245? Oh, we've got plenty of lead, too. Yeah, this is going to be groovy. We'll make it go a little bit farther away over here, like this. Then we'll have some steel lines going out. Oops, that's not the right way. Beep. And now we just got to run that on another forever run. <laughs> the magma biome was the opposite direction of space. <laughs> Whee! Um, can I go through here? Yes, I can. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, chat. Every day we're squirreling. Straight down in here, right into this line. And when they finish that in about 400 cycles, we'll be able to disconnect the coal generators, put a bunch of gas pumps, and vacuum this whole thing out. But where do we put it? Yep. I need a dump, a dump run. So we need another one up here. Okay. Mm-hmm. We need a dump. Mm. We'll just put it, say, here. This is going to be kind of hot, right? So we're going to have to insulate some of this. Lucky for us, we have forever resources. So we're just going to come all the way down here. How do I get down there? Take a hop, skip, and a jump. Oops. All right, all right. So far, so far, so good. Oh, yes. Uh, we can't get there, can we? Mm, yes, we can. Never say never. We're going to have construction projects this entire time. Uh, this is going to have to come up through here. Oh, uh, where are we going to put the natural gas generators? Because I'm going to need another line to go through here. So we're going to have to open up two of these. Something like this. This one is going to go to the... To space. Oh, wow. This is still a lot to cross. <laughs> oh, We're going to have to use some definite fast forwarding. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. This is going to be what's going to... We're going to dump all of that. Wait, where is this going? Oh, this is just getting dumped in here. And then once this is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. That's fine. We're going times 10. We're probably going to stay in times 10 mode for most of today. Oh, okay. We're safe. Safety! Safety alert! Alright, where was I? Water. Now we gotta do the water. Why am I working on this right now? Oh, power. Because we need power. We need power! 
<laughs> Good thing we'll have time while in space. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, refinement. Desalinators. Absolutely. It's going to go in right here. Oh, actually, we can go like... Then it's going to have to go up and around? Ooh. Yeah, this is fine. That's fine. And it'll go up and around and then back down. It's going to be great. Random bearded guy, drive home safe. Um, how are we doing up here in our... 17 critters? Well, that means some... More things can get wrangled. Are there any more critters in Ren Ren's house? Where's Ren Ren's house? Yep, there's one right here. We can wrangle that one. We can wrangle this one. Oh, I wanted to... I want to keep an eye on the pod. Yeah, we're going to be doing some predictions. Once, um... We have some... Some mod love. And, uh... But I want to keep churning through these blueprints. Because I want to find more puffs. Yuck, yuck. Uh... Yuck. Alright. Let's go check on the rocket. A squared said times 10 speed is always kind of sketch because if you have basically any lag, the element simulation falls behind and you have multiple sim updates in one game update. Yes. We call it chaos. Gabby is here and on predictions today. Thank you, Gabby. All right, how are we doing in here? Oh, that's... Oh, man. That's right. We had to take a break because of... Uh, the Oxalite. How have I squirreled myself this hard? I feel like I'm ten tasks behind. Uh, yep, this is fine. We're going to need one of those power thingies. Power outlet fitting, absolutely. No suits required. Boop. Boop. Maybe a refrigerator? What are... Oh, we can start using the spices. Because we have mealwood seeds. We have mealwood seeds because... Oh, no, we're not running Drekos. Chat, we gotta start growing mealwood. Except it's 37 degrees in here. Why isn't this cooled down yet? 33, 33. Oh, that's there, so that's the reason why that was getting tussled. 29. Because of the wheeze warts. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put some farm tiles right here. Absolutely. Um, I appreciate it, Glenn, but we're going to be using your house for, uh, for mealwoods. We have four cycles. Nope, that's hazard deal. This one hasn't been discovered yet. Cedar! Can I get a definition for squirreled myself? Yes, absolutely. So, have you ever seen... <laughs> There's the old thing, squirrel! And your attention goes off somewhere else because you saw a squirrel. So, I kind of like the dog thing. Well, I get squirreled. I'll be doing one thing, and then it'll lead to something else, and then pretty soon, I don't even remember what that original thing is. Oh, we have to move those suits. I can't do that all day. I, I'm su surprised it's happening like this. It wasn't until, like, late game, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to back this up by two. And hopefully that'll be a long enough distance. Hopefully. 
because I can't I can't deal with that the fake emergency uh, scalding message again. No! Oh! Danger! Don't let anybody in! Oh, danger! Riku, get back inside! Who else? Nope, Riku, go back inside. Mysterious? The lamb? Go back inside. Okay. Alright. Whew! Alright. That should be a little bit better. Yes! And I just heard the notification that we finished. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Um, finding out what the other meteor is. This visual bug, I really like looking at the regular meteors, but every time I go to look at them, this bug happens. I don't know why. Uh, we get three and a half cycles. 3.2 cycles, so uh, 901. John says, hello, Echo. I made it from the comment section over here. Welcome. Is something hot in front of the number four suit? I don't think so. No. It's the... If you watched my mini base playthrough, there was a good explanation of what causes that. Well... There was a lot of investigation, and we think we figured out that it has something to do with the dupes going from a really hot area to a not really hot area through a vacuum. Um, basically, they're scalding themselves because of the suit. It's weird, I know. Alright, so we backed it up too. Hopefully this is enough space. Pod. Uh, Gabby, do you want to do a, uh, a prediction? Start it off with a prediction. Could it be good because you got the meteors via mod? It may be. I don't know if anybody not on the new update that didn't. I would assume not. All right. Oh, they still can't get over here. Very nice. The door, door is still permitted. Thank you. A squared said the 10x speed is very likely the cause. Last stream, we were not on 10x speed, and it was doing it too. It was doing it as well on the standard times three. And in the mini base playthrough, um, I, I checked that, the, that mod as well. All right, so... All right, everything's kind of working right now. Are there any dupes with sleep issues here? Any dupes with sleep issues? This is the first prediction of several today. Oh, uh, where were we? Oh, Oxalite. We need to get this going, so we have stuff for space. We're going to bring gold into here. Uh, let me get refined metal gold. Just like that. And now we need a... One of these Chungus. Because they're 1,200 watts each. That is not friendly. We'll just go up through here. Boop. Something like that. Oh, we were also working on another power line, weren't we? Is it done? It is kind of done. This one is going all the way down there. It's going to replace the coal generator. And then this one is doing the base. So we can do something like this now. So that should lower it. Now it only has 855 watts potential, which is great. Which is great. Alright. The line here is not complete yet because we have an unreachable. Because of course we do. Uh, how am I going to... I guess we're just going to remove this liquid reservoir. 
forgot about this pump emptier, but it's fine. Especially now that I know we're going to vacuum this whole thing out anyways. There we go. Boop. How's everything else? This is still coming through, so I would like to uh, do this. Absolutely. The other one's going to be for natural gas, and it's going to be coming from here, here. We're also going to dig this up as well, so I can get more things up through there. Will they be able to... Be? Yeah, especially if I do that. Okay, that's fine. What else... Have you seen the mini base mod that has been updated on the worksite? It's even credited to being due to you playing it. Yes. Ask Doff. But yes, we have. Oh, what? What? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. H hurry up, please. Boop. No, no. Oh, look at all of it. What a mess. Oh, well. But at least now it has some more room. Look at all this water. This is incredible. What do we... Oh, yeah. This is the water being used. Oh. What did I just click? What did I click? It'll kind of give me an idea of what's causing it. Mmm. It might be show building ranges. Because I haven't had a crash in a long time. Fight with a Twitch Prime four month anniversary. Can you press more info? Absolutely. Let's see if I can find anything. Uh, missile. Missile projectile? Exception in missile basic missile projectile. Hmm. Colonel Sanders, it's the space shooters. They've been doing it to me, too. Oh, okay. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming out. Um, we're just going uh, <laughs> to try, try again is what we're going to do. I wonder what the randomization... Maybe it's one type of explosion that's not wired correctly. Yep, because look, it's 902. And we said the meteor is going to be there at like 901 and a half. Since I bet a lot of VOD watchers skip to gameplay, maybe it's a good time to mention that the main channel, when the gameplay resumes... Glenn? Chef's kiss. Oh, no, we're keeping the blasters on. We're keeping the blasters on. Oh, and now I disabled my show building ranges. I'll re-enable that later. We didn't actually lose too much, which is good. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Colonel Sanders, when you've been noticing it, um, were you using a speed mod? Oh, are you out? <gasps> Somebody put some blasters! I need to wire these up. I need to wire these up. Why are we only delivering one blaster at a time? Colonel Sanders says it happened to me. Three to four launches of the game at random intervals and then stopped. No speed mod. Thank you, Colonel Sanders. Um... For those of you watching the VOD, I just wanted to invite you to uh, hop on over to Echo Ridge Gaming. You may think that you're watching Echo Ridge Gaming, but the VOD is actually hosted on the alternate channel called Echo Ridge Unabridged. We have a lot of tutorials and Let's Play series over there, so uh, 
Go on over. Maybe hit the subscribe button. <laughs> All right. Ooh, are there any dupes with sleep issues in here? Oh, wow. That's a big one. It's a big one. We have over 40,000 echoes. Sleep issues. I do not see any sleep issues. The answer is no. No sleep issues. Lots of yokels, though. <laughs> we'll reject them all. Okay. Oh, uh, where are we? We're over here. We were actually over here to fix this. Okay, now it's got even more space. That's great and gravy. All right, we're here. This is gonna have to be wired in. Yeah, now, especially now that it's only 855 watts, this is easy peasy all day. Since we split it off. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna go straight in there. Then we're gonna come up over here. We're gonna do a hop, skip, and a jump. We're gonna go over. Hmm. We're gonna bulldoze right through. Whee! Oh. And then go down. Right here. And now this is our line. Okay? This is our line for oil reservoirs. All right. Supersonic. I have a lot I want to do today. We're going to do a lot of stuff. Isn't salt water really conductive? Um, it is a decent conductor. It's got a thermal conductivity of 0.6 and a specific heat capacity of 4.1. During the meteor storm, meteor blaster causes client crash if there are obstructions within the firing range. Should be fixed in the next update. Thank you, Dave. Dave went and found the uh, the bug report. So I wonder what it means if there is obstructions within the firing range. Oh, I know what it is. It's these. Or even the rocket could be obstructions. Oh, well, no, because I think the meteor can go past the rocket, but not the tiles. That's cool to know, though. Now we all know what's causing it, so if it's happening to you, you can fix it. I want to know... Oh, because we weren't making any more. <gasps> it's time to queue some up. What are we going to make them out of? And by the way, where's my empty shells? Right here. I guess we were making them out of iron. We're definitely not getting them all back. How much is this? 35 kilos? But it's 25 kilos per. And where is it up here? All right, so what we're gonna do, why am I paused? We are gonna do this. We have automation on it, right? Yep, so we're just gonna go forever on it. Iron, forever. And it's set to 200 kilos, which should keep us going. Beautiful. So apparently this is not back up enough. Because they're still getting scalded. See it? It's something to do with the suits and the vacuum. Because they're basically their suits still too hot when it hits that vacuum. It's been explained to me. I just... I don't necessarily understand it. So how do we fix that? I don't think we do. We just deal with it. Let's get rid of all the suits. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. There's two pipes you can't play it build in the brick above the geyser. Uh, brick above the geyser. Brick above... Oh, I haven't done this yet either. The brick above the geyser. Along the wall. 
I think they did it. Oh, right here. I see it. Thank you. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. All right. Could you cool the area around the suits? Would that help? No. It, it's something to do with the vacuum. The area outside of it's 50 degrees, 46 degrees. That's not scald worthy. Even this oil is 59. No, they are taking scalding damage. It's just, it's, it's something to do with proximity and the vacuum. All right, so now we're down here. Why is this taking so long? This has been three streams. Let's add some more. Let's do like that. This can be deconstructed now. I want all this to be done. And is the power done? All right, we'll do that. And then we're just gonna disconnect all these. We'll make sure there's no plumbing going through here. Brilliant. Boop. Just take a look at this. The plastic ones will drain faster with lower gas pressure. Oh, the 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 small ones. Hundred degrees. Still too much liquid. Come on. All right, now. All we need to do is hook these back up. Not using gold. Perfect. There's a lot of lead down here, so this is actually going fairly quick. Why did the boiler break? Um, asked Kutai. My theory is when we were down at the bottom like this, it started pumping smaller packets of oil. So right now, these are 10 kilos a piece, right? 10 kilos is great, and this whole system is based on 10 kilo blobs. If you have, say, a 286 gram packet, it's smaller and will flash quicker. So I think it broke the pipes, and that's what happens. Yeah. The way to fix that would be to put a meter um, and only allow 10 kilos to go through at a time. But this will not be an issue here in a moment um, or in a little bit because we're about to have forever power or forever, um, you know what I'm trying to say. They're almost done here. Whoop. We're about to have forever oil. And I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to vacuum this whole thing out. We're going to get silly with it. And once it's all vacuumed out, we're just going to let the whole thing be an oil reservoir. This one here will need a lock. Again. So let's build one right here. Because this is all going to have to be natural gas in here because there's an oil reservoir and then there'll be two over here. But we need this. Oh, this is going to be our petroleum or our sour gas boiler. So maybe we only run 6.66 kilos per second then. Alternatively, we could just seal it up. Uh, what do I want to do? Where else could we put the sour gas boiler? We had planned on putting it here. Which speed mods do you use? I alternate between both of them, Max. Right now, we're using, I think, speed control updated. Mr. Krabs with a drink. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Are we pumping yet? Ah, oh, finally, we're pumping again. Oh, we'll do something like this. Oh, perfect. 
this will help a lot. Why am I using cobalt down here? I have no idea. Because you're a nub? Yes. Boop. Mm, boop. And then we're going to start putting some around here for the inevitability. Perfect. Ish. <laughs> That's going to take a long time, too. But it's all heading to space now. Space gas. The gas line is not connected. I think it is. Oh, you're saying down here. Boop. Thank you. All right. Um, this is good. Very nice. Let's go check on our rocket. All right, this is going to need... Uh, we're going to need some water, so let's bring in that water first. Man, I got to get a water pipe up here. And a petroleum pipe. Oy vey. Whoop. Once those are done, we'll be able to backfill that. We'll have a nice little mess table right here. No, one of these is going to have to be oxalate. And we don't want it at the bottom because it'll eat the carbon dioxide. Let's put it right here. At least we have a lot of dupe workers, though. Look at how fast they're going, huh? Perfect. Starvation. Gravity Pegasus. Go eat! We still have a bunch of junk down here. Lala, how you doing with your athletics? Athletics are one. Nope, you're going to be down here for a while. I am going to take this here. Made out of aluminum. Where's our, our junk gas? Oh, it's all the way over there! Mm. Okay, we'll go up through here. Uh, we're going to skip jump. Look at all the construction projects we have. This is redonkulous. And go up. Uh, we'll have it split. Now, this should be fine. Maxine! Name the rocket Queen Calero's Revenge. Boop. ESS. Queens. Queen. Queens. Calero. Calero. Revenge. It won't fit. Let me try to clean it up a little. The Queen Calero's Revenge. Maybe? Nope. I guess we're gonna have to get rid of the ESS. It is no longer an Echo spaceship. Or starship. And, uh, that's good. Perfect. Oh, uh, down here. What is... Alright, we have four in here. There's micrograms down over here. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is just gonna have to be... It's like, like it's because there's so many mixed gases. That's just the uh, nature of the beast. But they're down to micrograms down there, too. All the power's hooked up here. Now we need... We have the water. So we're just literally waiting for these two sides to be vacuumed out. But we need to plan where that that sour gas boiler is going to go. If it's coming out of here, we're going to get petroleum. Then we need to superheat the petroleum to make sour gas. And then we'll cool it down. Hmm. 
Hmm. The reason the reason why I'm debating is because I wanted to do some of the open oil reservoir systems. I think they're fun and cool looking. To literally fill an entire biome up with oil. <laughs> but I wanted to use all three so we can get the maximum 10 kilos per second. But if we did that... I'm going to have to make a lock like here, and that's sort of awkward. But I suppose if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. And it will work. This will be a vacuum on one side, so we can use regular tiles. Is the petroleum boiler fixing itself? <laughs> Oh, and then so that'll be down there and then we'll do one right here and right there yeah this will be fine we'll wait for all this to vacuum out perfect now we're waiting until these are vacuumed and then we're going to go in there and fix this and then we're going to connect our oil reservoirs up it's this whole thing we make everything more complicated Just than it needs to be. Look at this. What about two reservoirs? One for petroleum and one for sour gas? Um, I'm trying to figure out what you mean. Well, the, we're going to be using the petroleum boilers. Petroleum. Because just because we're making a sour gas boiler doesn't mean that we can get rid of all the petroleum. So we're not going to be converting 100% of the petroleum. So we're still going to want that petroleum boiler. Ooh. Something like this. This can go like that. Absolutely. They'll build those. We're not going to turn those on yet. Uh, could we? How much is on that line? Oh, no. Yeah, definitely not. The problem with these is they're 240 watts each, so you can only run eight on a line. But... We will get them sort of wired up like this. Yes. Just so we're ready. Perfect. Ish. Something. Now I need water up here and I also need petroleum. Luckily, we have a nice cool source of water right here. So we're just going to come right off of it. Mm. Where do I want to put the buffer tank? I guess we'll put the buffer tank right here. This seems like a nice plot for the buffer tank. Boop. There we go. Uh, this will need to be insulated once we get closer, but for now it should be fine-ish. Now, up here we probably, we better insulate it. Because what's going to happen is these tiles are going to heat up when that petroleum rocket takes off. How dare you decide what turns on the gas pumps. <laughs> Alright, so that goes there. Oh, no, nope, that's not correct. And that'll come out there and go right up here. Now we need the petroleum. That's a little bit more complicated. Because it comes all the way down here. Hmm. How are we doing up here, by the way? 34 kilos? Yeah. We're losing gas pressure down here. Only removing two kilos per second, we're losing gas pressure. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that and make that flip back because we're not generating enough, which is incredible. <laughs> oh, Dizer says, all right, I'm new here, so alert. <laughs> 
Hey, Echo, do you know you can actually identify geysers by setting a high on alert? <laughs> Alright, how are we going to get that petroleum up? This has got to be the messiest colony I've ever had. For sure. We're going to go insulate it up because we don't want this to ever flash sort of things. Oh, we forgot to tie this in. We we're wasting, but we we're wasting power. Boop. May one was taken. First time chatter. I'm trying to pick this game up, but my head is exploding. Infinite things to learn. Go step by step, my friend. You will get there. And feel free to ask any questions. We have the most helpful community. And I also like answering questions. It gives me uh, it gives me things to say. All right, so this can go up, not through there. You. Mm, okay, we're not. Oh, stop it! How am I gonna get up there? Crush more abyssalite. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, that's kind of packed. Um, man, this is getting to be though very cumbersome. How do I get over here? I literally can't bypass that. Oh, wait, I can with some really complicated bridges. Are you ready for this junk? Watch this junk action. And then we'll have a bridge here. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Crab says, I've never built a sauna. Any advice? Uh, yes. I have lots of advice um, on sauna building. Have you seen my tutorial on industrial saunas? I had a tutorial on the four primary bricks. I suppose now I have to redo that tutorial because I have, uh... I've invented a fifth brick. I don't think I invented it, but... I still like to... give myself a pat on the back every once in a while. Mr. Grab says, yes, but I can't get it going. My guess is the heat... And I'm guessing that your sauna doesn't have a natural heat source. So what you're going to do next is use... Oh yeah, all this is getting gone. Bloop. Is use a... Um, either A, a metal refinery with your radiant liquid pipes going down instead of up. That way you could have a bunch of water here on the bottom, and this will definitely do it. You can also use the glass forge and just make sure that the glass is dropping on the floor where the water is. If you do that method, make sure you occasionally scoop up the gas, the glass, because remember, every single time it drops, it's averaging its temps with the existing glass that's already had its heat taken out of. So I highly recommend this method better. I think this method is probably the best. The old upside down radiant liquid pipes. I had not seen it either. Whoa, what do you mean? Unreachable build. Oh. A list of what didn't break would be shorter. <laughs> Says A squared. Look, this has been a chaos-free stream. Nothing has broken. Uh-oh. Except for the dupes. Circuit all over overloaded my butt. <gasps> oh. Okay, maybe not my butt. Forgot to disconnect that one. Absolutely. Look at that. That's so much cleaner. <laughs> As something breaks. <laughs> Pumpkin pie, we kind of figured out what the crashes were being caused from. Um, a heads up, it's the... If maybe you're having the same crash. It is... Um, the... The rocket. 
the guns, the space guns. If you have tiles in the way, there's a chance it could crash if it's trying to hit a rocket, if it's aiming like through these tiles or something. Oh, that's not gonna work because I'd have to... All right, we're gonna go up. Missile targeting, says Zoldan much more efficiently than I did. Boop. Uh, do we want... Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a nice buffer tank for the petroleum to... Boop. All right, that's good there. Oh, we still haven't turned oxalite on yet, have we? All right, we don't have anything in here. We're going to need to put oxalite maybe. Oh, uh, I got to figure this out. We got to get rid of this one because I'm going to put the oxalite here. And an auto sweeper here. Or the plastic here, rather. Where am I going to put? Okay, we're going to move this down here is what we're going to do. And then the oxalite will go up here. I don't, you don't want to put the oxalite container on the bottom because it'll do the overriding the carbon dioxide thing and that can generate problems for you. So this one's going to be oxalite. This one is going to be plastic. Perfect. What does the buffer tank do? Ask him move and uh, they're returning chatter. So welcome back. The buffer tank is going to supply us, so it's going to hold five, key, uh, five tons worth of petroleum. So whenever the rocket lands, we're not going to have to peel fresh petroleum off of this. It'll already sort of be full and ready, just so it helps even out flow is probably a better way to say it. Amy from Earth, welcome back as well. All right, so we're good here. Oh, we got to turn this on. I wanted to take all of the consumable ores. Oxalite. This is good here. We've only stored 8.3 tons of gold. We have 29 tons. Absolutely, Gabby. Let's do a pod prediction. Thank you. And we're not doing plastic production right now because we need to conserve that petroleum. Oh, we want to put automation on this. That's what I was thinking of. Boop. 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 And signal switch. Uh, what? Why can't I put a signal switch here? Oh, because the rail's in the way? Okay, then we'll do it over here. Boop. There we go. Oh, these are four high? Yeah, that's, that's a much smarter answer because the rail is a background it's not a front <laughs> they need to make this little tank bigger all right so this is on this is going to be on now all we need is oxygen and look at this a fresh pipe of oxygen that's good this is all going to go through here it's going to get ran through here it's going to be chilled so now all we have to do is put a little bit of water there so it does not off-gas. Which is going to be great. I kind of want to... It's only 30 degrees there. It'd be smart to make this a metal tile. But if I do that, I'm going to lose everything in this tile. So let me try scooping this up real quick. Because it would get some of its... Uh, wait... It doesn't make sense. This is just carbon dioxide, so it doesn't matter. If I did it here, 
this would make sense. That's what we're going to do. Boop. Yes. And we, whenever you guys get a chance, please pick up all this nonsense. Thanks. There we go. Perfect. Now all of it will sit on this nice cool brick. We'll put a little bit of oil or something in there. Oh, we already have oxalite coming. Absolutely. I can't believe this is three thermo aqua tuners. It's the limitation is the petroleum, I'll bet. We should have had... We should have looped the petroleums around a little bit better. You'll notice the petroleum's only coming up to 36 degrees. It ain't bad, but it could be better. Thank you, Mr. Krabs, for the posture check. I appreciate it. Amy from Earth, I hope you're feeling better. Enjoy your rest. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's put, uh, I guess, crude oil is fine. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Get that stuff out of there. That's all done. What are we cooling this down to? 25? One aqua tutor with nuclear waste would be equivalent to 4.2 with petroleum. So this is actually going to be something I talk about in my next um, Let's Play video. Because everybody's like, use the nuclear waste as a coolant. There's one giant problem with using nuclear waste as a coolant. Well, two. First, it has a temperature limit of 26.9 degrees. So if you want to cool something to below 26.9 uh, you can't. Right? You just cannot do it. And it leaks. So what I mean by that, if you put nuclear um, waste into a building, like a liquid reservoir, it leaks out of the liquid reservoir because it's corrosive, is what the little menu, the little item pops up as. And to which everybody says, no, well, you just, you put it in a ton of water. That, now we're starting to get, it's getting flippy, right? So it leaks, so now you're providing a bunch of water for it to sit in so it doesn't leak. And it's got a, a bottom, a low temperature limit. So I'm not, I'm not in love with it. Where do you guys, oh no, we're not putting the oxalite somewhere else. Where is it? Uh, right here, no more oxalite. Thank you. And can we please get some oil up here? Is there a leak there in the piped loop as well? I don't think so. Oh, they're asking about the nuclear waste. I don't know if it... I, I don't think it leaks out of pipes. I think it only leaks out of buildings. But it... It may, I've just never left it sitting in pipes long enough. It's always moving across, so that could be the difference. Kenny Dave says it doesn't leak in pipes, yeah. And it, it, it's the double-edged sword, right? No pending deliveries? Are you kidding me right now? Oh no, we've ran out again. We ran out! We don't need much. Just come get it. Oh, this is a vacuum! Chat! We can go repair things! Go repair things. Let's mop that. We'll mop that. And we will disconnect. Echo did a thing. Yay! Disconnect it here. And then we're ready to start these. Boop. Boop. 
It's not all a vacuum? Oh, don't say that. What? What do you mean? Yes, it is. It's just this is not a vacuum. You're scaring me, Mr. Krabs. All right. So now, um, up next is our prediction. This one's worth about 23,000. Are there any modified athletes? I completely missed your mention, Gabby. I completely missed it. So any twinkle toes, anemics, early birds, night birds, night owls, um, anything that adjusts athletics. Oh, it's only a two duper. Oh, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna leave Gabby to. I'm gonna leave Gabby to uh, figure this one out. No, it is a morale bonus. Never mind. It's not an athletic bonus. Yep. So I'm gonna say there's a no. It's a no. <gasps> puffed eggs. More puffed eggs. Sweep those. Sweep them real good. Dun 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 dun. dun. You're welcome. <laughs> Overheat damage in the oil biome. Vacuum. Uh. All right, so that's fixed. Can I scoop this six tons? Shh, that's a lot. Is this fixed now? Actually, I don't need to do that. I can just empty it. Because they've already taken the uh, the oil. So we can just empty those. I don't see overheat in here. To the left. No power. That's not true. We're out of petroleum. Oy vey, we're out of petroleum. Hmm. Now we're going to have an issue, right? Overheat damage right here. Uh, gold? What's hot? It? Uh, somebody dropped some petroleum here. All right, no big deal. Uh, that can just sort of go away. Yeah, because... One twenty two. Oh, <laughs> Just deconstruct it. We're going to have to make these all out of steel, anyways. <laughs> they dropped it right back off. <laughs> Whee! All right, is this one going to have. It'll eventually have some. So I suppose we can put a right back there. That's fine. How are we going to fix power temporarily? Because you can see the six coal generators are not doing it. Alright, so first we're going to have to turn this off. Uh, let's turn these off. Because all we need, if we can just finish up that vacuuming... We'll have that problem fixed. We're also going to need to build our liquid lock here now. It's going to go like this. Boop. We still have a lot of other things. Oh, do we have a... I would like to tie this in. Where's the closest power line? Right here? Oh, it doesn't come out there. Whoop. Right here. Uh, I don't want to do that. I just realized this is all heavy walk conductive. <laughs> because the duplicates travel there too much, and that's very, very negative decor. There's a mod that lets pips run in wheels, and they look super cute and generate power. I have seen that one. There's more oil in the boiler. Yeah, but it's not going to last long enough. 
All right, so we're gonna come up. Uh, we're gonna... Ooh, Draco. Let's see if we can get you wrangled in there. Maybe right here. Heavy watt joint plate. Boop. All this is made out of lead. It lead is like the gift that keeps on giving. And we're gonna do just like this. That'll help a little bit. Now the question is... This is being... Oh, I can also tie that one in. I could just put this whole excess, excess thing... I'm debating with myself right now. Because there's no power transformer here. But I could plug all of this in to this heavy watt wire, which is kind of ugly. I definitely want to plug this steam turbine in. So we're going to disconnect it there. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We'll just disconnect it. Heavy watt. Boop. All right, that's going to go brilliant there. Come over. Silliness. Now, since this is a main line, I don't... I'm not going to need this battery, am I? I can just put a transformer there. I'd have to smush some stuff over, though, because this is in the way. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break our oxygen thing real quick. <laughs> Ooh, glossy. We're gonna break everything really quick. Why regular plate, not conductive? Just, uh, force of habit. I normally don't update the conductive ones until I have to. Geek says, Echo, you should try reading chat. They are trying to help you. Yeah, I, I've read all that, Geek. Um... Yeah. The, um... I'm not touching the oil in here yet, or the petroleum in here yet. I know there's a little bit of oil there, but I would rather fix the problem first. Geek says I'm being snooty. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um... <laughs> thank you, Geek. The... I'm trying to fix the problem more permanently because that oil would run out really quick, right? And that doesn't help anybody. Now I'm gonna get rid of this battery. We do not need it. What is all that automation? All this automation can go. In fact, to tell you the truth, this hydrogen generator can probably go because it's being dumped onto the the grid. Boop, boop, boop. Large power transformer right here. How's the temps over here doing? I know we cooled it a little bit. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. And then we can just go like that. Now all of these are on the main power spine. And we have a little bit of extra. I, that's a little bit... That was granted, that was a little bit more than a small project, wasn't it? But it works. I just need to make sure this gets connected. Can't reach there. Ed says a bit caught for Sweepy. Kutai says, what is all this autom automation? 
Yeah, confused since day one in this colony too. That automation was to flip those uh, power shutoffs is all they were there for. Now I'm wondering, should I put the battery back? And have it be saved, right? Look at this. And what is this? Oh, this is our buffer tank for salt water. All right, what we're going to do is this. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put a battery up here. Boop. That way we're not burning through all of it. Uh, lead battery. 55, it should be okay. I'm gonna end up rebuilding this, aren't I? Yeah, we're not using a lead battery. And we're not building a lead transformer either. We'll go with cobalt. There we go. Now, I think we'll save I kind of want a little bit more storage. If this is going to be treated as a as a reservoir, sort of like this. Whoop. Whoop. Goes in here, comes up there. Absolutely. Uh, comes up and goes over. And that way, the one that is going to be connected to the power... Like that. We'll have a little bit of extra buffer lines. Pumpkin, have a good one. Good luck with the new computer. Look at this. Yeah, the backup, um, the backup system is right here. This needs to say like uh, 90... Uh, we'll say 70. Now we're actually starting to get power flowing again. Brilliant. Which means these should be pumping again. Yes. They're pumping slow because it's a lot of different gases and stuff. Oh, what? Oh, you don't have power. Oh. Didn't realize we had it so close, but yeah, that'll work. Alright, that's fixed, so we can deconstruct this, put our liquid reservoir back. Uh, that one's already done. Now, this is going to be... Oh, this silly little... This one's going to be full of natural gas. Filled with natural gas? Where's my bottle empty? Oh no, starvation. Somebody was running too slow. We'll put a bunch of oil here whenever we find it. So we'll turn this one off, deconstruct that one, deconstruct this one. Actually, we'll just unselect it. We'll put sweep only on this. That way we can scoop all this and use it to fill that liquid lock. don't know what this little guy was doing. This is not a dumpster fire. Everything is awesome. Neferin. Thank you for the, the drink. Uh-oh. We're getting low. It's almost time for more meatloaf. Almost time for more meatloaf. There's, there's no chaos here. Almost time for a sweepy. I'm I'm willing to see how long the the bit, what do we call it, the bit caught. <laughs> oh, I love it. What about the oil drop off for the oxalite? The oil drop off. Oh, this one. Hmm. This should be a good.
You're saying all this line? The oil drop off for the oxalite. I don't know what you mean. Free sweepy. I don't even. Oh, right up here? This is kind of a good spot. This is a really good spot for a sweepy, to be honest. Okay, we'll put a sweepy right here. I'm only getting squirreled more. Uh, is it under utilities? There it is. Boop. By the debris chiller. Oh, oh, epic fail. What's all in here? Where did all this water come from? Hello? Water? Now I'm a little worried where that water came from. We already have a ton of oxalite. That's amazing. Oh, looks like the... Looks like the, the bit caught ended. Let me deconstruct Sweepy. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> and plug them in right there. Look at it. Sweepy's mad there's no power. Like, I can't do anything. Now, what are we going to do with all this dirt? This is going to be the most ridiculous system ever. It's just going to be about organizing the dirt. Okay? <laughs> Shipping right there. Uh... Hmm... Maybe right here. Yeah, that works. And then we'll have this pick up the dirt out of the sweepy dock and just drop it right here. I think we can do that. It might have to go further away. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it has to go further away. Or we could have it go through the debris chiller. Where's this going? Let's have it go through the debris chiller. I mean, we have plenty of ores. Not really. Okay, we'll go up. Out through here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And, uh... Can we move this down? No. No. I think we're gonna move it here. Because I'm tired of this one being in the way and preventing things like that. Boop. There we go. Yeah, we made the sweepy out of steel. That way their overheat, overheat temperature is 275. I, the sweepy themselves, I don't think, has a an overheat. But they do have a melting point. Mm -hmm. We're getting tea, chat. I wonder if chat can see this. Nope. Hold on, hold on. Don't go, go. Ah! <laughs> Yay, tea! <laughs> Ed with the 50 bits for Cocky Chick. Thank you very much. All right, now this is going well. Uh, this can just hook up there. It's all gonna go this way. With love, Sparrow with the 100 T-bits. Oh, you fancy, huh? Fancy like Sunday morning. Um, okay, this is good. We have a, where is the water coming from? Is it dropping from here? <gasps> Cold damage. Found it. There we go. 
Let's go back to times 10 because I still have more of this stuff to do. We're at milligrams here. Milligrams up here. Yeah, we're, we're okay. This should be done soon. In the meantime, we can also get this start to be wired up. All right, we have one water coming. Oh, no, 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 no. This is going to have to be... This all has to be done again. Once it gets inside this room, it needs to be insulated. Otherwise, it will break in the pipes. Right there. I think I saw another broken pipe right where that dupe was mopping, says Katai. I think we're okay. You scheduled a crude oil wipe in the cooler. I scheduled a crude oil wipe in the cooler. I don't know what that means. All right, so that's going to come there. All right, so we're going to need one to come in here. Where are these pipes going? We only need one pipe now. So we're going to put one here. So all this can go away for sure. And then this can go like this and all that can go away because the oil is going to come out and just splash down so we only need one pipe up here you mopped the oil that prevented the oxalite off gassing it was in a hole how did I mop that well it looks like it's just water staying in there now <laughs> Oops. We shouldn't get any more water up there, though. Hopefully. Because these are insulated now. Yeah, it's perfect. Ish. Hello, Dreco. Have you been scooped up? Maybe. How many do we have in here now? 24. Nope. And we have more pufflets coming. More pufflets coming is great. Thank you to Fiketti Lepke and the others for letting me know that I mopped up the oil that we spent all that time going to get. Alright, that one's good now. It's insulated so I can get rid of this and put the reservoir back. Now, we'll need one pipe going somewhere up here. This will need to be insulated. One going there. And then we're going to need one going all the way over here. What is this line? This is petroleum coming in. We do not need all these buffer tanks. I Okay, so I know it's heartbreaking. Chat, you'll be okay. The reason why we will not need the buffer tanks is because this entire biome is now a buffer tank. Sacrilege. I made the buffer tank religion. I can't, it can't be sacrilege. Oh. Look, you know I love my buffer tanks. Okay, they're just not needed right now. And I'm trying to clean up the piping. All right, so this oil is going to come here. And it's going to go straight to the input there. So we can go like this. And then get rid of these. Perfect. Now... I think we'll also leave this one here because this is the bottom. But we might need to upgrade that to gold. We can get rid of this pitcher pump. And we'll put a regular steel one back. 
Did we make this one out of steel? No, we didn't. He's been corrupted by the unholy straight pipe. <laughs> oh, Miss Panda Amanda says, if you loved them, they wouldn't be deconstructed. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this can go away. Maybe we put the petroleum in the buffer tanks now that I just removed them all. No, because we have buffer tanks up here for petroleum. Yeah, this is fine. Look at all the ores we just got back, chat. Think about the ores. This is good. Now, I'm doing it in my head. I'm trying to make sure that we have everything we need because... Once we get this going, it's not ever going to stop. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is the steam. I'm just hoping this space is big enough to where it'll never get hot enough with all the natural gas and everything. So we don't ever have to worry about that weird steam problem. Bring back our echo, says Blobby. <laughs> uh, what is this one? No, this one needs to go away too. Um, this is... Ooh, we can finally get the oil over here. Crude oil. This is still vacuumed out. This is still not fixed? Where did this oil come from? We're still in a vacuum there, though. It's like we don't even know you anymore. <laughs> Empty that one. Crude oil, sweep it. There we go. Now, what is this in here doing? Well, uh, this is going to eventually go away. We're going to make a whole new system for the natural gas, so we can get rid of all this, too. All that can go away. Look at all the debris down here. This would take forever for the duplicates to fix. And I'm sure as soon as we get done doing this, something's going to pop. Unfortunately, uh, we will need this line, right? This line will be needed for that reservoir, but we can take it off of there and we can hook this in a little bit cleaner. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep, this is going to go over and then up somewhere like this. Wait a minute. Two hundred and forty watts. Hmm. I don't know about two hundred and forty watts. Because we're going to have three of them at the minimum. What else is on this line? That's the only thing on this line, though, right? Yeah, this is okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to bring this down. This one's going to have to go all the way over. So this is another forever building project for the duplicates. Echo, critters are starving. <laughs> Thank you. When are critters not starving? It's. I'm pretty sure it's the Sweetles. Here we go. Starving for buffer tanks? <laughs> that can go... Yeah, all that can go away. This is clean, so we can now prevent... So now, 
This is fixed. Everything's awesome. It's good. This will also need a pump, though. Maybe right here? Steel? Of course. Yeah, so we have three at 240, and then we have two pumps at 240. So far, this is okay. Plus 120 for the door. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, wait a minute. And it's also running... It's running this too. What's on this line now? 1570? Okay, this is going to have to be rerouted. That's it's too much. Because of this 960, that's just too much. Aquatic possum, good luck on your exam. I appreciate the lurk. Sure, Gabby, let's do a, a pod. Absolutely. I'll try to remember to look up here in a minute to see what it is. All right, we're going to use lead and just go all the way through here, just like this. Oh, absolutely. There we go. Now, if this one sort of breaks, it'll be easier to fix, and we can disconnect it from here like that. And now we know everything in here is going to be fine. Huh? Are these? Okay, the automation's good. There, I knew something was wrong. Any dupe that refuses to work. We're talking yokels, pacifists, gastrophobics, squeamish, trypophobics, and unconstructive. Get in while the getting is good. How's my sweepy, said Ed. Doing great. We gotta turn this on the dirt, though. Uh, why is there lead in here? Uh, is it soil? Dirt? There we go. Yeah, that sweepy definitely shouldn't be made out of lead. That could end poorly for us. <laughs> we do need to figure out something to do with this oil eventually, because you can see we're full. Granted, right now it's all naphtha. You know what? Let's just do this. That fixes that problem, doesn't it? <laughs> Why did I make these out of airflow tiles? I don't want to make them out of airflow tiles. Ew. There we go. Liquid pressure? Yeah, the liquid pressure would be fine. There we go. It was probably because in the earlier I was trying to get some other gases out way back when this thing started, is my guess. But we all know my guesses have been a, a little issue. Definitely not liquid pressure. I'm not a big believer in liquid pressure as a concern, <laughs> which sounds weird. I don't do things that make liquid pressure go bad unless something is messed up. The people who worry about liquid pressure are are the uh, the infinite folks, the infinite storage folks. All right, that's good there. Come on. Keep on pumping! 10 milligrams. 
I'm not saying I'm too pro for infinite. It's just a, a personal choice, if you know what I mean. And we can put these back. Absolutely. Come on, two left. Why won't they build any of these things? Oh, did I cancel them by mistake? Did I make an oopsie? Starvation. Spyro. <gasps> what are you even doing in here, Spyro? Probably using the potty. Why can't you get out? Oh, no. Oh, no. 798 calories. <laughs> Panda Manda said, that's my potty. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing a meteor? There it is. <laughs> really? A little bit of snow. Look at all the dupes that were trapped up there. Woo! Yeah, even when it's hitting, it then still falls. That's going to be a dangerous spot. That's going to be dangerous. Maybe put a roof on it. Yeah, but then that ruins our space elevator. The roof would work. Oh, yeah, the roof would work. But the problem is... Hmm. Nah, we'll just wing it. All right, is there any dupe that refuses to work in here for a grand total of about 40,000 echoes? Boop. Refuses to work? Pacifist. Isn't a pacifist refusing to do work? Pacifist is refusing to do work. Absolutely. Uh, we'll take some rust. Yeah, it works. Uh, petroleum. This NAFTA is our permanent NAFTA storage. Here we go. Look at doesn't that look nice? That looks so nice, chat. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, still waiting down here. Micro milligrams still. Let's go check on Queen's Calero Revenge. All right. We need... We already have a battery on the outside. We'll probably need a battery on the... In, or a wheel on the inside, but... It's only 60 watts. I'm not too worried about it. We also need to worry about food because we don't have space food. Yet. We're going to have to deal with that, too. This is going to be... An auto sweeper. Uh, we'll make it out of cobalt. That can reach there, so this is be fine. For, one of these will be fine for plastic. Yeah. Now we need to handle the carbon dioxide issues. A little mini gas pump. Absolutely. And a... I'm, I'm, I'm having streamer fog. Streamer fog alert! A filter. Boop. And we have the carbon dioxide. We'll, we'll vent out the oxygen. To say here. And then we'll have a lot of great storage. It's going to go here. But we'll go up, sort of over. This is carbon dioxide storage for when we're in flight <laughs> and it cannot vent. 
There we go. Then on the outside. Didn't you get some nutrient bars? I think we rejected it. I don't think we took the nutrient bars. E I guess we can go right here. That's fine. Oop, that needs to be obsidian. Or it will break. How are we doing on petroleum up here, huh? 450 kilos! We don't have a range yet. We're gonna start loading this up. We're gonna say 250... 225. So I think that should be enough. We'll see. You can vent the CO2? You can't vent it when you're in space. I'm pretty sure that was Abod's suggestion. All right, that's good. So this is only for when we come back. It will then finally vent. This is gonna filter out oxygen. Abod says it will vent in space. Did they change that in a recent patch? It auto vents in space. When did it do that? When did they change that? Abod says from the start. Stop it. It was not from the start. I've known I have to do this. Because it would back up. Oh, now I can't wait to see. Colonel Sanders, I think it doesn't vent CO2 on the planet without a vent on the exterior. That could be what I'm confusing it with. That could be what I'm confusing it with. Absolutely. When it lands, it'll back up. Thank you, Avon. That's exactly what I'm remembering. And that's the reason why we used to do this for our... Our rockets that we took to another planetoid. Well, this makes me feel sheepish. <laughs> Ed wants to know what duplicates we have right now. Here is the list. Boom. All right. Um. So it has water. It should have oxalite now. Unreachable storage cupboard. We'll get it going that way. Gallant Gabby said no roll call. Oh, no roll call of the dupes. I will do a roll call. Ren Ren, Ghost Rider, Bushman Glen, Queen Galero, Toaster Strudel, La Ghost of Eric, Miss Panda, Aiden, Wait, I'm Sexy, Meg, whoops, Dr. Weazar, Mysterious Lamb, V, No Pay Do, Gravity Pegasus, Haunted Pay, Riku, Gabby Gabs, Minus, Spayro, Hubba Bubbles, and Lala Minori. Mm. Hobby Cartharics, 500 bits. Thank you very much, Hobby. Would it be feasible to set up your spawn on your second planetoid and teleport it over? Would it be feasible to set up your spawn on your second planetoid and teleport it over? Yes, it is feasible. But we have a nice spawn over here and we're not using our second planetoid. But we could, we could definitely teleport extra oxygen over there. We're still working through the basics, right? Like... We've been going about this in the really wrong way. Abot asked if I have any tutorials on NAFTA boilers. I do not. Alright. Uh, this is... Micrograms? We're down to micrograms. The water is in. It's coming all the way over. If this is a liquid lock, we can actually start here. Oh, but it needs to be brought over as well. So we're going to make it come over. This is ridiculous. Up. 
Look at all the pipes going everywhere. And then... Oh, wow. This is problematic. Getting rid of a piece of abyssalite. Goodbye, abyssalite. <laughs> Goes up. Getting rid of two pieces of abyssalite. Down. Oh my goodness. All right. We can we can do this. It just has to come in over here. <laughs> this pipe's going everywhere. All right. This is the water pipe. It can come down like that. This is the petroleum exit pipe. So it's going to go this way. And then this is an oil intake. So it can go like this. All right. <laughs> Ooh. And then we can just go in just like that. Whew. Give me oil. This can all get removed. I need more oil. I've got it. There we go. Duplicates, do this one first. That can get deconstructed as well. That was a necessary removal of the Abyssalite. All right. You can only get so many pipes in there. Yes. Uh oh, Slickster's drowning. Slickster's drowning. All right, we have. Slow it down. What's. I can't even see it. 870. 160. Yeah, this is perfect. Now we just got to take the uh, the pipe, the vent right here, and deconstruct it. And now we're ready to put our first thingamabob on. Yep, that's a technical term. Did I miss your response to my question about slime growing? No, I think I missed your question, Messiah. Uh, let me scroll. Messiah, can you ask it again? Boop. Please feel free to mention. Tag me. All right, this is going to be so glorious. See, everybody, everybody hated the fact that we got rid of all these buffer tanks. But what you're not realizing is we just created the world's largest buffer tank system. That's what we did. I want to get rid of these. What's going through here? Nothing. Oh, in there. Okay, so we're going to do buildings. I'm doing on every other one to kind of replace these. It's easier way to do it. That way the dupes don't trap themselves. You know, standard pro level stuff. Oop. Timo says, I made infinite storage. I did not make an infinite storage. It will not be infinite. It would break when it got too full. This is not infinite. It's just the biggest buffer tank ever. Now we can fill it back in with some wonderful ladders. Whee! There we go. Uh, I guess we should do the same here. Recover all those good materials. Then we'll come back in a little while. How's this doing? Perfect liquid block. We have oil in here. Let's do this. Thumbs up. Okay, what am I forgetting? What am I going to break, by the way? 
Pretty sure the oil well does not have an overheat temperature, so we can use any old thing. But we're gonna do steel anyways, because it's a thing. Boop. Then we're gonna hook the power up. Then we're gonna hook some... Where's my water? I brought the water over here, right? Oh, it just hasn't made it past the, the loop yet? <laughs> on my second asteroid I have a slime where I didn't before I had dug it out and it was minerals and ice and now I have slime everywhere do you have a puff that's hidden that is taking the polluted oxygen and turning it into slime No puffs. Hmm. See, A squared and I have disagreed. Um, or A squared, rather. I had a theory a while back that all of our slicksters got replaced. And all the eggs got transferred on an update. Because all of a sudden we didn't have 400 fish and then we had like 400 slickster eggs. Um, I'm still thinking that there's a, like a duplicate bug, like a bug where one code can transpose another code or something. I don't know. I don't think that's possible, but I don't know what else could cause it. It's a swampy asteroid, but you said you didn't have any. Did you have slime meteors? Check the, uh, the star map and go here and go see what meteors it has. See, these has slimy meteors. We finally have oil coming. Yeah, the new update is, um, is all about meteors and there are slime meteors. This is working. It just seems to be going slow. But I suppose it is dripping it out, and our pump is taking it, so... And then they're going to release it, and it's going to be nothing but natural gas. We're going to let it fill up for a while. Until we, uh... Until we get the, the gas pump here. Or until we get a bunch of natural gas. Because I want to check thermals and all that sort of stuff. You know when the last time we had idlers was? I mean, it's been so long since we have have had idlers. I don't even know what they're doing at this point. Oh, they're up here picking this stuff up. I guess is what they were doing. And they're taking bleach stone. We need to stop that action. Uh, do not take the bleach stone. Leave it. Polluted dirt. Eventually, we're going to have to figure out a place to put all this polluted dirt. All right. Let's check the pod. Hmm. Farming, cooking, research, digging, farming, ranching, uh, barbecue. No, we'll just reject it all. All right, now we got to work on space food. The barbecue reminded me. Oh, we also got to fix this. Let's get a wonderful painting of the good food. There's still water in the oxalite drop place. Maybe it's some water boiling instead of freezing. Um, I'm fine with water being in there, but... It's definitely not boiling because it's not warm up here. It's got to be coming from up here. Maybe it was old and I had not noticed. Ice melting. That could definitely be it. I don't know where there's more ice here, but that could have been it too. I thought I swept everything. By the way, we're up to 170 degrees in here, so we're going to add another... 
uh, steam turbine. And we are also just going to activate one of these. Oh, this is at 123, so I don't want to do one over here. This is at 123. Yeah, the heat's just up here. Because of these thermo aqua tuners. So this is where we need to add them. We'll add another one. Oh, that's not going to work. Right here. Just take a look at this. Ice from the meteors. That could. I'm gonna have to put a roof there. Gonna have to put a roof. So let's uh, deconstruct our wonderful space ladder. That's exactly what it is. Oh wait, come back. Let's do the thing. There you go. We're making such a great team. No, no, come back. <laughs> Whoop. Just put a roof at the top. Yeah, but then the meteors would break it. I still want to shoot the meteor. I just want it to be able to be stopped. Like this. This is also going to help prevent a lot of the radiation going down that shaft. Boop. Yeah, bunker tie would actually be a better idea up here too. Perfect. Would an auto miner close the door close to the door suffice? Uh, yeah. That would also do it. Uh, I guess we gotta do something like this just to fill in the one. Boop. Rubicant 82 with a Twitch Prime. That's gonna block the... No, it still goes far enough over. And it's over here. The viewer... Actually, I want to reload that so I can show you. The viewport of it is going to be good. What is there for dupes to do in the northwest corner? I do not know what you mean. Probably nothing. They were digging some stuff. Is it possible that space pandas like carried beans? I'm sure, but that's not what they're getting. <laughs> All right, main menu. I'm ignoring chickens. I'm not hearing the chickens. Oh, it was Kuta. No, it's Ed. I, I didn't. I didn't hear the chickens. We did do some digging up there. Uh, building show building ranges. I got squirreled. Poor chickens. <laughs> beans for panda. No, we're not doing... I'm not giving space panda curried beans just to go to space. Did they finally fix um, show building ranges? Yes. I've been using it for about another... Again, for about a month. <laughs> Colonel Sanders says, you're right. She probably wants spicy tofu. At this point, she's going to be lucky to get meal lice. <laughs> All right. So there's the, the view port, the viewing range of the telescope. So you can see they can still see all the way through up here. And even this one right here. Uh, we still need... This might be pushing it. I don't know if it needs to be able to see on both sides of it. But we're gonna see. Gabby, I don't know why you mentioned me. You meant you've been mending. I thought I already plant. Oh, I didn't plant them. Boop. Now we go. 
There we go. Now we have meal ice coming in, which means we can grab some... Where are we gonna put it though? It still has to be in a refrigerator, okay? It's not gonna be automated because we just don't have the, the length from over here. It still has to be in a refrigerator. And then we're gonna do some freshener spice, edibles. What do we have? I guess it's gonna be barbecue. Barbecue. And then this is going to be spicy foods only. Edibles. Barbecue. There we go. We're getting there, chat. Speaking of barbecue. Let the bodies hit the floor. It's back. Uh, another pod? Supplying operating tidying with a small bladder and a radiation eater. We'll take Marie. Absolutely, we're going to take Marie. Marie's a good one. Marie is a good one. No! What is going on with this? It, again... I'll bet you is the last little bit here. And we have water. It's making the steam thing. Oh, this is gonna be bad. It's doing the stupid, stupid steam thing. <sighs> now it needs to be filtered out. Hopefully we didn't we don't get any water in here yet why isn't this siphoning oh the pipes blocked pipe is blocked because those are broken i actually want to purposely block them right there now we need to put in a filter right here boop boop plumbing filter all right, this is going to be bad. All right, so the only things that can come through here are oil, water, and petroleum. So I want to take out all the water. And we're going to take out the water by putting it in here. So we're going to have to do something like this. Uh, we'll make those out of insulated instead. No! Oi! Sorry, dog. Nothing should be flow. No, don't f start flowing. Okay, good. We only have one duplicate name in for the suggestion. Heads up. And now this filter is going to be filtering out water. I was really hoping to avoid the water problem. Alright, is this good? Water is po It's possible for water to come in through here and then to go up. It's going to get filtered out. All right, now let's close it. Now it just needs a little bit of power. That's another 120 watts. It's gonna be fine. Boop, 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 boop. Buildings, yes. We're about to do that dupe name. Find out what the... Oh, we, we've kind of forgotten schedules, too. We've been forgetting schedules and stuff for a while. And I think we still have a dupe sitting on the wheel. 
Uh, yeah, that can go away too. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Um, now water. Please don't be liquid lead. Oh, thank goodness. Now I can hook this back in. Don't break the pipes. I don't understand what's causing them to break. Oh, wait a minute. I do. They're heating up. Let's insulate these. Yep, we're going to insulate them. That'll be good. That's how heat works. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, lots of natural gas in here. We got some water because of course we do. You could insulate the pipes around the vent in the petroleum boiler so the oil stops flashing in the last couple of pipes. Great might. Over. Ah, uh, we made it out of iron. Oops. No, just deconstruct it, please. Has the dupe been renamed? Not yet. We're about to do it. I just have to take care of this minor emergency. Minor emergency. Plumbing, filter, steel. There we go. Come on. Everything else should be good. You aren't letting dupes go in? Thank you. <laughs> Crypto's name game name guess or in game name request says Crypto Pater. But it's not a pay. It's a Marie. All dupes are named pay now. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Oh. Everything's flowing again. This should be fixed should be fixed we will see uh we'll get the little debris out of our beautiful petroleum boiler and that'll be that all right we have five names in uh messiah we is our dead and deaf Sampai Gemini and Crypto Raider Doff, if you wouldn't mind hitting an exclamation roll space Five. Um, brilliant building, 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 building. Doff rolls a three. The lucky winner is dead and deaf. Dionos. Oh, I just removed the thing. Somebody tell me, dead and deaf. Can you tell me how to spell Dionosis again? I was a nub, and I got rid of it too soon. All right, where are you? Marie? Boop. There it is. Dionoses? Diono Dionysus. Dionysus. Dion Dionysus. Dionysus. We're going to go with that. Brilliant. All right. Oh, uh, body temp. Uh, we need to queue up some research so it gets colder. <laughs> we can't win for losing. It seems like we've been chasing our tail. And we don't... I okay, We can get that one going. And I can also take the auto sweeper off. So the wheeze warts will forever be fed. Dionysus. Donisius. 
<laughs> Alright, that should cool that down in just a few. We are still not vacuumed out here. Oh, we're getting there though. It's doing the thing. It is doing the thing. And you're watching it live, chat. It's kind of cool. Why does it look like it's extending? It's just going to take a few minutes because it's way up in here. All this beautiful stuff here. 91 degrees. Watch this be the only water ever. I wonder if I can mop it up before it... No, there's already water over there. It's only 91 here. I guess it's 103 up there. The oil well gets hot. Where does the water come from? It is inside here. Um, inside the oil well. And so if it's sitting too long before it, they do the decompress thing, it takes the temp from the oil well. And in this case, 103 degrees. And it, uh, it makes steam. Research complete. Didn't even know. We weren't even really doing that for real, but that's fine. It's a vacuum. Almost a vacuum. There's still 380. That's too many micrograms. They're not going to. No way that just gets rid of. We might have to put a pump up there. I oh, we got idlers? 14 idlers? Boy, do I have something for them to do. Come and get all these goodies before they get too hot. Absolutely. Idols are why I said go northwest. We've already... Do you see what we did? We did this last time. To kind of scope it out. Unfortunately, we did not find any more vents. So we've kind of seen the entire thing. I see all those biomes. Scalding. Ugh. Vacuum. It is slowly going away. Even though it's that much. 204, 200. It's a weird little phenomenon, but it works. The vacuum hungers, says Golden Squid. <laughs> Alright. Damage overheat. Oh. What is going on here? Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Where is my meteor blasters? Chat. The meteor blasters are just straight gone. We had three of them. The blasters got blasted? Is that up is that a thing? That doesn't seem like a thing. They melted? They didn't melt I mean the regolith wasn't that hot. That was a serious. Oh, unless we made out of something silly. No, they said steel. Look at all this. They produce heat themselves. This one's up to 417. It doesn't say it has an overheat. And I don't believe this got up to 2700 degrees. Melting point? 2700 is what steel would be. 2426. Power. Power. Boop. Yeah, those, they, uh, they're not messing around. Those meteors are coming, coming in for real. 
Got coolers behind them? No. We're not bothering. But like this one's only up to 417. Didn't they add a liquid cooler that works in a vacuum now? Asked Shady Walker. Yes, except it doesn't work well. So, for instance, here's the conduction panel. I'll do it. But, uh, well, I can't because I don't have a free flowing line. It just doesn't work very well. I hate to say it. Now, Phil, we're going to have to watch those meteor showers. Maybe so many meteors came down. And they just had enough. I'm back. Did anyone die? No one dies. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Are we done here yet? No. 44 micrograms. Slow but steady. We have mealwood growing again. Which is good. Uh, we are turning in. This is where this needs to be. Why aren't they? Well, let's put this in the six. So they definitely load it up. They should be grabbing their food out of this one because it's closer. But already we are up to good kilos. Decent amount. So why is the gas disappearing at the teleporter room? Ask Purple Snurple. It's the vacuum effect. Um, it's just the way Ani works with vacuums. Instead of it sort of pulling all the gas in, it just sort of deletes it in these weird little areas. Which vacuum mechanics in real life are very, very weird. Um, so it's it's no surprise that they're also just weird inside the game. Uh, we can also... I think we can separate this now, can't we? Because we're not going to have any junk gases. This is all just going to be an eventual natural gas. So we'll... Yeah, delete all this. Which is just going to create more debris. It's fine. It's fine! And hopefully... Hmm, do I have to leave some of these in for the vacuum that... I may have maybe not have done that. It looks like it might still be going down. But because now there's not a gas pump trying to vacuum it out, they'll stay... Less than one microgram does not exist, so when it's one split, it disappears. Says Dex. <laughs> Ewish says, my stream is on a slight delay, but did you just say no one dies? Just asking for my friend, Ghost of Eric. <laughs> nope, I, micrograms. Like, apparently, because it's already a vacuum, it's, it's sort of working. Yeah, we're gonna put a, we're gonna put pumps and everything back. We're gonna set up a whole system, but this is not it. What is... Oh, yeah, we're keeping that one. That can be there. Boop. Oh, nope, that can all go, because we don't need that. Don't need that one. I believe this one's connected just in case that it needs... Five micrograms. Come on! The blaster on the left has no power. How do you how do you know that? Like where did you see that? Lead is probably not a great choice. But it's there now. Lala with the drink redemption. Thank you very much. Oh, the little red alert box. Some of you have incredible eyesight. Three micrograms. For the love of Pete. 
For the love of meep! Boop. 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 It normally goes a lot quicker, but because it's in this corner area, I'm assuming. Eddie with the posture check, thank you very much. There it goes. Finally. All right. Now we can get rid of all this silliness. Boop. And start filling this whole place up with oil. Natural gas. And for some odd reason, water. That can go down here. All that can get removed. Yeah, we don't need any of these power wires here. That one's good there. Ah! Look how clean it looks! It looks so nice! Yep, we're ready. We are ready. All this just for oil? It's okay. Apparently we unlocked the arcade cabinet. Signal counter and duplicate checkpoint. Utilities. Oil well. A one there. And a one there. Uh, the water pipe is here. Save. Schedules. Thank you, Gabby. Won't look nice until you make it level. <laughs> and power. How is this power line doing, by the way? 1,440 watts. It's close. But we should be okay. Yes! Brilliant! Give me oil! This is vacuum. Nothing should be able to get in there. This is vacuumed. We are gravy. Absolutely gravy. All right. Let's go check the schedules. Uh, we have Dionysus on schedule four. It's fine. We're going to work up to four now. That's fine. We'll put them on seven. Now let's check the skills. Oh no! They're allowed outside! We need to change that! They are a super slow dupe. And they need to go work out in the gym. We never put power on this. There we go. Lala, just a running. Gabby, do you want to do the last prediction for the day? Fix the top right door. What's wrong with the top right? My goodness, more ice? You allowed them out of the brick. Oh no, that, that can't be. Thank you. Oh, are they? Yeah, they are. Lala is in their room. No, Lala. We got to make separate rooms for La. We have to make a Lala a room. Is this eight? Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it's because there's a door there. Why is there a door there? Oh, because we're making everybody go through the park. All right, Lala, you're sleeping in the, the seed vault. <laughs> Lala's going in the seed vault. But because they're going in the seed vault, they're going to get a special stargazer cot. There we go. Where are you, Lala? <laughs> Everybody wants to live with the queen. It's because they have such a sweet um, tea setup. Uh, look at all the meal lice. This is ridiculous. 
What are we going to do with all this meal lice? I guess make pickled meal out of it. And then throw it in here. Where is the... Oh, it's already picking up everything. So the pickled meal is already going in there. That's fine. <laughs> right, any dupes with unlocked skills? First time chatter, Alec, welcome. Any skill? I don't know what that means, unlocked skills. Prediction is whether anyone has skills. That can't be the prediction because they're all have skills. Starting with skills. Look, Gabby, I'm a little slow on the pickup, okay? <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Call Lala's room La La Land. Oh, that's perfect. Player excess. All right. There are no skills. The Ooh, there's more puffalo eggs. One, two, three. Herg in with the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Herg. I have I have definitely seen that tutorial. I just don't think the juice is worth the the, the squeeze. All right. Um, this is good. Now we're just going to be filtering out the water. It goes directly and keeps feeding the lines. And then, uh, yeah, power should be good. Petroleum is going flat out. Is this locked up? Nope. Let's lock it up. And let's, uh, let's check space. Let's, oh, we can have all the power again, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's turn oxalite on, refining on. We can turn, I don't want to turn plastic back on, but we can definitely turn this back on. Iron forever, steel forever. Iron forever, steel forever. What else did we turn off? Yeah, this should be fine. We'll sweep all that up. How's this doing, by the way? Oh, look at it. Chock full. Chock full. Shady Walker says, I watched your hatch tutorial the other day. Curious of why you don't like sage hatches that give 100% returns. I feed them dirt. And it, that's the reason. It's because um, dirt's one of those resources that's hard to come by. It is hard to come by dirt, typically. Now, if you have an infinite source of dirt from maybe your um, boiling polluted water or something like that, then yeah, sage hatches are fine. All right. Um, let's do it. Ooh, we finally have oxalite in here too. Pips and lumber infinite dirt. Yes, it is. But depending on how many pips and how much lumber you have is going to make the dependence on how, uh, like, for instance, each sage hatch eats 140 kilos worth of dirt. That's a lot of pips. I think you need seven pips to feed one sage hatch. And it's even less if you consider it unless you're naturally planting the trees. It's just, you know, it's... it's you know, everybody floats their boat a little differently. General Coco is a first time chatter, by the way. Welcome. All right. So this has now has a range. Come on. Thank you. Has a range of 10 tiles. Perfect. Perfect. It's exactly what we needed. We are loaded up on water. We can put a nice little joyous seed in here. All that oxalite should be cool. 
should. So let's go ahead and say oxalite on one of these. Boop. And then this one's gonna say plastic. Just like that. Yes. This oxalite is 34 degrees. That's not shabby, but it's supposed to be cooler than that. Oh, it's probably coming from in here. Yeah, it's 44 degrees in here. That's fine. This oxalite, we only have 185 kilos and it's 25 degrees. Why are we backed up? For the love of Pete. Three thermal aqua tuners. I cannot wait to get super coolant. <laughs> Ed in with the in-game rename. Poor Panda Manda. Panda Manda has been looking forward to being a space panda forever. And now they're being renamed to Space Ed Panded. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is hilarious. Panda is going to riot. <laughs> spaced. Wait, spaced. Hand. <laughs> oh, that is good. Oh. <laughs> oh, remember that is locked for the rest of the stream. Thank you for the in-game rename, Ed. <laughs> okay, Ed changed it. Ed just hit me up and changed it. They, they saw all the tears from Panda Vanda. Where'd you go? Space Day. All right. Now it is Spaced Panda. <laughs> oh, that is great. All right. We're good in here. Now I need a refrigerator. I have somehow forgotten the refrigerator. Great Hall is already at in and Luxury Barracks is also in. So this is plenty of morale. We have 11 tons of plastic in here. That should be enough. So we can deconstruct it and put the refrigerator there. Then we're going to need some of that like this. Now the issue is this meat is not going to last forever because we're not going to have enough power. Um... Unless we deconstruct the rocket control, control station and make a wheel in here. I guess I could put a wheel in here. That's kind of a perfect spot for a wheel. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Uh, this is going to be sending out what? Oxygen. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I didn't. Okay, right down here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Automation. I forgot the gas element sensor that's going to go right here. And then we're going to link it in. Whoop. To there. And then I think it's done. Angolamo says you could also replace the gas filter with a mechanical filter. Yes, but I typically don't use the mechanical filters because I'm weird. Use the pickled meals. Well, the because we have the spicy food, this should be it should last a long time. Especially now that we have the wheel, it'll last forever. It doesn't go off. Thank you, Glenn. Good idea. For those of you watching the VOD and not aware, the VOD channel on YouTube is Echo Ridge on a Bridge. We have another channel that has a lot of tutorials and Let's Plays that are edited down. Curated, even. 
All right, we want spiced foods only, and we want this to say barbecue. We'll put it on a seven. So they definitely come put it in there. And that's good. Ed in with the 50 bits. Gotta go put the duplets to bed. Enjoy, Ed. Thank you very much. All right. Um... Oh, I wanted to check the priority on this guy right here. It's only on a six. So all that spiced barbecue should be heading up here. And it is. Right now we have... I'm going to unground it. 126,000 calories, which is fine. But we we have five kilos worth of oxalite. That is plenty. Should be plenty. This needs to say carbon dioxide. Unbreathable. Carbon dioxide. Toilet's plugged in. This is in. All right. I think we're ready. Chat, we're ready. Change crew. Where is our super space dupe? There they are. Spaced Ed Panda. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll take off their suit. They'll be able to breathe fine. I'm just trying to make sure we have everything in place. Yeah. We need our pilot hat. I think you already have a pilot hat. No, you have a research hat. Oh, you don't even have rocket piloting yet. Boop. You do now. Here we go. Lala. Lala is going to be going into farming. Right? Lala is our, reserve, our nature reserve specialist, aren't they? Here we go. And then we have one more. Who was that? Dinosaurus or something. They are going to be a mechatronics engineer and a pyrotechnics expert. So we'll, we'll start them by going one, two. That's fine. Crew. I think we're good. Go get all the data banks. Space... Panda Ed is in here. Uh, not grounded. None. Chat, we're ready. Stand by for launch. We're just going to orbit. I'm also going to try to get a screenshot of this as we're lifting off. Because it'd be kind of cool, right? Hopefully I don't butcher it. Begin the launch. Why aren't, why aren't you taking off yet? Pilot requested at the control station. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Come on. Oh, that's a that's a horrible screenshot. I thought it was supposed to get rid of all of there's all the black. We'd have to do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hold on. Just kidding. It was just a test flight. <laughs> And I can't get rid of those stupid red lines. Here they come in, Elon Musk style. I guess if I go down here like this, I can do it? Nope. There we go. I have to remove, I have to lower the button. Do not even think about coming out. Let me click on the space mark, crew. Thank you, get refilled. There we go. Change the destination. <laughs> oh, the things we do. All right, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Got him. There we go. So because I have the mouse on the keyboard, on the computer, able to go across the monitors that I have from this monitor to this monitor, whenever the mouse, even though it's on the other monitor, goes above a certain point, it activates the do not build sign. <laughs> I told you we'd make it to space. The oil is coming. Oh, yes. Let's go in. Oh, no. 285? Oh, it's a vacuum in here. Oh. You know what? We're going to leave that problem for uh, Space Echo. Or for Saturday Echo. <laughs> Leaving that one for Saturday Echo. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to have to move it, like, over here and send that over all the way there. Ah, well, we're going to leave it saved just in case. Uh, because I don't want... That could be a bad thing. So we're just going to leave it like this while we go to our just chatting. Ooh, I, did I save? I don't think I saved. Turnbone, I appreciate the follow. Also, carry 1226 I appreciate the follow. Remember, VOD Watchers, if you are not aware, we do have another YouTube channel, Echo Ridge Gaming. Go check it out. You'll like it. I promise. Still need the microphone, Echo. Channel mention. I already mentioned it. I'm probably just being slow. <laughs> Subscribe for more Echo. Chad, I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Oh, I got some streamer hair going. Uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Uh, we, we would be back on Saturday. Sunday's video will not be the max dis difficulty achievement run. Why, might you ask? Because we're starting a new series. We are starting a brand new series. In fact, we're renewing the Absolute Beginner series. Ta-da! So, uh, hopefully, hope hopefully, that series does well. It should. But I'm going to be making the current Absolute Beginner series private, right? So it's no longer going to be listed in the channel because I don't want the two series to get mixed up. So if you are a beginner at this, it has a much different flavor than some of my other runs where we we talk about things but we don't go into the uh nat's ass detail if you know what i'm saying we go into a lot of detail i mean a significant amount of detail we talk strategy we talk buildings we do all the things so i'm hoping you're looking forward to that series as well that is definitely coming um yeah and it's and it's going to be much improved and much improved from the last series, I believe. There's been a lot of new updates and we're not going to stop it at, say, space. It's going to go um, probably to the first colonization of an off-world planet, right? That's, that's where we're going to go sort of soup to nuts. I'm still trying to figure out a thumbnail strategy. Um, the thumbnail strategy is going to be a little different because we've lately just been doing screenshots, which I think is good, but I need people to know that it's an absolute beginner series. I need it to stand out and not be confused with the max difficulty achievement run. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So if you have any suggestions, join our discord. We have a uh, channel called content suggestions. Let me know what you think over there. Are those beginner series going to be streamed? No. They are not going to be streamed. They are not going to be streamed. But maybe... Hmm. I would like to do some sort of colony reviews on live. The issue is the mods. I'm not willing to add a bunch of mods to be able to load some of your colonies. That's kind of a... Uh, sort of thing. 
MLG Wombo first time chatter said spoof the uh, blank for dummies books. I would, but I don't want to use the word dummies. It's a good idea, but I don't like necessarily the connotation, especially in the gamer space, especially with young people who don't understand the the book series or whatever. I'd be worried that they'd sort of take it in the in a negative sense instead of in the that way. Nightshade says no more city skylines. City skylines will be coming. Um, I'm just giving it a little bit more time. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the three videos that we already have out there start doing a little bit better because those videos went from badly performing to horribly performing. So it, it's tough. Amy from Earth says for dupes instead of dummies. That's not a good idea. Or, I mean, that is a good idea. I meant to say that's not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Max says Ani 101. Yeah, we might think about doing something like that, Pee Wee. Says make an approved list of mods. Well, the list of mods would be the mods that are already, already listed on the channel. And I include those in the videos too. So if you're never not on stream or you don't want to go into the chat on stream, if you go to any of my videos, my mod list is also in the description of those videos too. So that should help as well. All right. Let's go ahead and raid someone. Let's go ahead and raid someone. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, I know exactly what we're doing. We're gonna pay back some love and you guys are going to watch some satisfactory. Yes. That's what we're gonna do. Make sure you get those raid signs going and ready. We're gonna be going to want some satisfactory. Show all the love, just like you've showed me. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. Thank you again um, for all the love and support. It goes a long way and I do appreciate it. Thank each other. Thank the mods on your way out. The raid is up. We're getting ready. I'm gonna run these credits and then hit the magical raid button. Thank you again. So until next time, happy gaming and I'll talk to you soon.